All right, I'm going to attempt this for the first time. I'm just recording it. If this works, then it'll be a good one for others to understand how it works, I guess. So I downloaded the, I went, this is on my iPhone. I went to the App Store and I downloaded that app. You can see it there. It says G-Shock Connect or Connected. So you go ahead and click on it. And it went through and asked me a bunch of things. You know, am I good with uh, different settings? So, um, I need something to lean this up against. I don't know if this will hold. You can see. So it's asking for the um, number on the back of the case. So, we are looking at... I'm guessing it's a asking for that part number there. So... It has some pre okay, so we're all the way on the bottom here. It already has a pre selected, so we're going to select that one and it's telling us how to do it. Hold the watch connect button, watch the watch. So we're going to hold this button on the bottom. It says hold, can you see that? Hold to connect, and I think it connected. Okay. A new watch was found. Register this watch in the app. I don't know that I'm going to go through registering it, but it was pretty easy to connect. I think it's connected. I'm not sure what it does from that point. Registration was successful. I didn't even have to do anything. I just did it. So now we have... That's cool. It shows us... It's a mirror image here. Home Detroit. I'm in, I'm in Michigan, so I'm not too far from there. So you can uh, go through and adjust things, I'm sure. So anyway, that's how to connect. Um, and somebody asked me, how do I tell how much power is on it? I messed around with the buttons on this. I haven't read the manual. I'm pretty sure the manual is only in non-English, whatever other languages it is in. Because um, there is no way, uh, easy way to tell what your, um, you know, on a, on a standard square, it gives you the low, medium, high down there on the bottom because it is a solar watch. This one doesn't give you that information. I think it's too full of everything else. So I messed around with the buttons. If I do figure it out, I will let you know. But I did notice in the app, if you look up there, it's telling me that um, you know it has like the little solar sun logo there and then the battery. You can see it's almost full. So I'm guessing that would be considered a high charge. So that is one way to tell in the app with this guy. So there it is. If I find anything that's really cool, I'll make another quick video, but um, that's me connecting my Metal G-Shock to the app. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm tagging this on just because I started poking around, but um, so you can adjust the watch with your phone So when it's connected. So you can go to like World Time or whatever you want to do, but you can go to, um, which that one's the same, but uh, let's see. Um, how did I, I already figure out how I did it. Oh, okay, so it gives you the guide to cancel the connection. So that there's a guide here. Oh, here we go. Short press, reminder, display, short press mode, time adjust, place, and phone finder. So you can do the phone finder with this one. Short press light. So I still don't see even on this instructional thing here, I don't see a, a quick way to check your uh, battery status. Uh, there's world time. But I did notice, uh, I don't remember where I was at. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so if you clicked on it, so now it brings up um, a world map. So you can kind of scroll through. So say you want to say I was going to travel. Um, yeah, let's go to Vegas. So I want to go to Vegas. So I can select Vegas, and then I can set this to the watch. And because it is connected, it's automatically going to change the the time. So like if you're traveling or whatever, so you don't have to mess around with it. You can just do it right through the app real quick. 
I'm assuming it all well didn't really change the time or did it oh, okay so if I clicked it over to the world time because there's two different so I have my home time and then I have the world time so it's set for Las Vegas and then it comes up with if you see up on the top there that's the time that it is at home or in uh, my time zone so pretty cool and then there's back to the, my original home screen which is where I'll keep that so anyway pretty cool toy fun to play around with if you have one definitely definitely connect to the app I think there's a little bit of a learning curve but once you get there it's going to give you um, some easier to use options rather than fiddling around with the buttons on the watch which the buttons on the watch are big so it's not that's not a deal breaker but once you learn this format I think it's pretty cool so oh and then you can connect to a different watch and all that stuff so pretty cool this is probably the way you know short of having a full-blown smartwatch like an Apple watch or whatever watch you prefer um, this is kind of a cool way to add in some of the function of that without going full-blown smartwatch so see you on the next bit